Well, hey everybody. So, this, there's nothing fancy about this video. Uh, it's just me, just talking to you. This past week, and well, really the last two weeks, I think it's maybe, I didn't put a video out last week. Um, yeah, and I put one out previously the week before. But I've had a lot of like really aha moments where things became very clear. Um, first off, I realized that I have over the years completely disconnected from my body. As a pain management tool, I stopped paying attention to what my body was feeling. And that has led to me living a lot more up here than what I do, you know, in here. And through body scanning activities and meditation, I am beginning to pull more out of my head and get back into my body. But it's interesting because I never even realized until, like I say, this past week that that's what was going on. When I began talking to a therapist and when I began taking part in workshops for anxiety, there's a lot of talk about being present. And I always thought I was. The fact of the matter is, no. I'm not, I am always thinking of the future, the what ifs, you know, and it's interesting because my wife, um, has anxiety and whenever she would have a panic attack or, you know, have moments of higher anxiety, I would say to her, stop thinking about the what ifs. Now I realize that, holy shit, I do it too. And I do it a lot. Um, the other thing that I realized is this, I put really big goals on myself and I think it's almost a form of self-sabotage where, you know, I, I set these lofty goals and then I don't meet them and then I beat myself up and procrastination comes into play. Um, I haven't quite figured out the why of the procrastination yet, but I think part of it is because of those lofty goals. So I have been releasing a video every week. Um, and my goal was for this year to release 52 videos in 2021. But what I'm finding is that more and more and more, I'm leaving the production of these videos till the day before. And that escalates my stress. That escalates my anxiety. I put undue, you know, demands upon myself. Simply if I would have done that video earlier on in the week. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna do videos every two weeks. Um, I do post on TikTok. It's, uh, it's manageable for me. You know, it's a one minute video or 15 seconds, depending upon what I'm doing. Um, and that works. So if you haven't already, please, I invite you uh, to come on over to TikTok and follow me on there. I'm at Lori the Warrior. And yeah, but so that's that's where I'm at with that. Um, it's about, you know, figuring things out. So I, I got into it before and I'm going to come back around to the other aha that I had was as a child, I used television as a form of escapism and I still do yeah I can spend all day every day um, sitting on the couch especially those days that I you know have a rough uh, metho hangover uh, those days absolutely you better believe if I'm feeling crappy I'm gonna be parked on the couch I'll be drinking my water and doing, you know, things like that. Um, trying to put healthy food in, whatever. Um, but TV has always been my way of tapping out. It is my drug. So I'm doing an anxiety group right now or an anxiety workshop that, that lasts six weeks. And I've got my, uh, <laughs> my little workbook because I just finished a two-hour class. And 
Anxiety to Calm, that's what that's called. And in this workbook, we do all kinds of stuff. But this week, it was about activity and body scans, which fell beautifully into alignment with where I'm at. And one of my goals, because it's it's encouraged that you set goals for the week, and then when we come back next Friday, we check in to see. And I just realized I'm only wearing one earring because I took the other one out. Um, <laughs> so anyway, my goal for the week is to walk to the mailbox three times. I've continued to lose weight. Um, I'm continuing to fast and all that, but it's slowed down a lot. And I know I need to incorporate activity in order to keep going with this weight loss. Not to mention it really helps with anxiety. And um, so yeah, I that's one of my goals is, you know, to to walk to the mailbox three times this week. Also, to only watch television after um, 5 p.m. every day. That's, that's what I need to do because I will get up in the morning and I will turn the TV on, you know, and I will... I will escape that way. Um, and it's it's not healthy. Um, you know, I have high blood pressure and I am on a medication to slow my heart down. Um, so, yeah, there's, like I say, I've had some realizations, but I wanted to share all that back is not going to go on, so I'm not even going to fiddle with it. Um, I've had some realizations this week and I wanted to share it with you all because. I am very much about, you know, being open and honest with you all. And I hope that in there, maybe you, you've you realized, you know, maybe there's some things that, that you would like to work on. Or if not, then that's okay too. You know, we are here to learn. Yeah, yeah, we are definitely here to learn. Um, but one of the things that was discussed in group today was how many of us set these huge goals for ourselves. And like I say, I now, I'm, I'm realizing that attached to that is self-sabotage. So that's it. That's all for right now for this week. Um, I will be checking in. And like I say, about a, a full production video will be up uh, next weekend. Everybody take care. I love you all. And if you're not over on Facebook, following the RA Raw Facebook page, do that too. Um, one of my other goals is to be a little more active again on Facebook. So yeah, everybody take care. I love you all very, very much, and I will see you next week.